right, here we go. Good morning friends. Welcome. Welcome back. Today I am going to just take myself on a mom date. I literally have been sitting in the house for days, days and days, just scrolling on my phone, not wanting to go outside, extremely jet lagged, like going to bed at 7 p.m., waking up at 1 a.m., staying up until the next day like so jet lagged and it's even harder i think with a two month old and a two year old because when you want to sleep they're awake and vice versa so yeah it's been rough not gonna lie it's been kind of rough and then we're in a completely i mean we've lived here before but compared to america like it's a new country and so just stepping outside takes a lot of mental energy because you have to speak a different language and interact in a whole different culture. And so for me, as an introvert, I just haven't had the energy to do that. But last night, I got one of the worst headaches that I've had in a while. And I just instinctively knew it's because I've been on my phone. If I checked my screen time, I probably would be very ashamed at how long I literally just sat and scrolled on TikTok and YouTube. So today, oh, I'm gonna try and get out. I need a couple t-shirts and I think that's all I'm gonna do. I also wanna carve out time to sit and journal because I haven't been able to do that in I think months honestly and it shows I feel it so that's what I'm gonna do it's so crazy how just a few moments outside sitting still writing journaling thinking praying it's crazy how much peace and healing that can bring so much clarity and refreshment definitely needed but i think doing it one time is not enough at least for me like i think i need to be doing this every day i've heard the advice during postpartum that you really should make time for yourself and i'm realizing how true that advice is However, when it was given to me, I was just like, it's just like, sure, that sounds great, but it seems impossible. Well, my advice is to make it work because without that time to yourself, without doing something that you love doing and being able to just quiet the world and hear your own thoughts, you just, you get all jumbled and you can't operate as your best self. And so I think it is extremely important to take that time out for yourself. Someone got a little hungry. <laughs> and Kairos wanted to come out and play, so. In my last vlog, I mentioned that our goal while we are in the city is to find a car, get our visa switched over, and then head to the mountains where we'll be moving for good, basically. So, I'm happy to announce that we found a car. And it literally was the first one that we looked at. So that's a huge blessing. We needed a car that's reliable to get us like through the, the road that we have to take in order to get to the mountain town because it's very bumpy, very rocky. It's literally Tyler and I's first car that we've ever bought together, and it's in a foreign country. I think that's funny, but yeah, here she is. I finally made it out of the house. This is my first time going out by myself since arriving in country. To be honest, I don't think I'm going the right way. 
but it's fine. I have been thinking a lot about when you are just not doing what you're supposed to be doing, like when you are spending way too much time on your phone. It contributes to that feeling of almost like purposelessness and especially postpartum when all of those hormones and feelings are going you just like you need to be doing things that fill your cup that add to your life rather than just kind of make you feel stagnant and so I think although I didn't take that advice seriously the first time around with Kairos, and I really didn't take it seriously this time around, really until now. I think that's something I will deeply take seriously in the future because your mental health is important. Ooh. To be honest, I am the worst at filming in public. This is a couple hours later, maybe like an hour later and I went to a clothing store to get a couple t-shirts but filming in public is still not something I'm com comfortable with just yet mainly because I already get stared at as a foreigner but then you add a camera with a microphone on top yeah that's not my cup of tea right now Speaking of tea, that sounds delightful. I can show you what our neighborhood looks like, at least our temporary neighborhood where we're staying right now. This is the road that we walk down to get to our house. These right here are houses, believe it or not. I remember when I first moved here, I was very confused as to how these led into houses, but they do. And I'll show you when we get to ours. Okay, and we're right here. Here's our gate. And here is our yard. Well, not ours, but you know what I mean. Let's go see Kairos. Okay, Houston, I think we have a problem. So I bought these shirts because here it's it's more modest to wear things that cover, like that go all the way down, like past your butt. That's why I needed some t-shirts because obviously I like to wear, I'm coming from Florida, so we wear stuff like this and this is just not appropriate here. So I needed things for the hot weather that go all the way down. And when I was shopping, I thought, I was like, oh, that definitely is gonna go all the way down. I don't think so. So I'm gonna try these on and see, double check. And if not, I have to go back and return them. Like in America, this would be considered fairly modest, but here, different story like here this is very fashion forward yeah and this is the third one I got this is more so what I'm going for like way past the ruby and that is modest I always say I wouldn't wear this underneath but yeah this is what I need but they didn't have anything like this except for this one so we're gonna go back and return them because I can't stand the thought of spending money on things I won't be wearing so no family affair I didn't end up finding 
any shirts that fit the criteria, but I realized I have dresses. I have things. What are you doing, Kybos? I have a party. Oh, good job. You need help? Hold that thought. Oh, I realized that I have dresses and things that I could wear instead. I don't know why I was so stuck on the fact that, or on the idea that I had to wear jeans and a t-shirt. I don't know, don't ask me. It's this consumer, consumer mentality of like, oh, I need this. But what I did get though, are some markers. I saw a TikTok of someone coloring, and it's funny because when I saw it, I was like, mm, that's not for me but then it like stuck with me <laughs> and um and then yeah i was like that actually sounds kind of fun and i can use it for journaling and all that stuff so we are home good job <laughs> we are home for the night Recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning. Good Bye -bye. morning. The man of the house is recording this morning. We are currently on our way to the bank to hopefully pull out a portion of cash for our vehicle. I was locked out of a, my account last night and am unable to get money using my card for. Who knows what reason, but apparently you're not allowed to get your own money out of your own bank account. I won't name any banks in this video, but we're just, we're just having a tough time getting our money out for this vehicle that we're trying to get. We're, we're meeting the Sohibi machine this morning, the owner of the vehicle, who is expecting a full amount, but I told him he wouldn't be getting it think he's a little upset but it is what it is yeah now we're gonna go try and catch a taxi at one of the busiest times in the morning but the Lord is on our side I feel it you did great I think you should definitely be the main vlogger on this channel that was great <laughs> My bad. Guys, can you believe that it didn't work? We went to the bank to get our money and they didn't give it to us. Our own money that we put in the bank account, they are not giving us back. Make it make sense. It is so crazy how long this saga has been going on like tyler gave you the quick version it has been going on for quite a while just trying to get access to this money so that we can pay this man for the car that we have the money for it's just like wh i don't understand how when you put money into a bank account you cannot access that money but you know what? We're gonna leave it up to the Lord. Alley oop it up to Jesus. He'll slam dunk the process. Daddy, and we're gonna get this Daddy. car. It is day two of trying to journal every single day. And what I found is that it is so cathartic and centering to be out here there's this smell that reminds me of my childhood in the summertime when i used to visit my grandmother in new jersey and we used to play outside literally all day long like it makes me feel like home so that's really comforting and you know what i've been hearing out here from the Lord I've been hearing 
get back to slow living get back to intentional living eating doing being in america for four months it's like we went in super optimistic but honestly i think we went in a little too naive but i think being in america really challenged our discipline and we just succumbed to the fast pace of everything it's like why not that's that's the feeling when we were there it's like why not but i think i'm seeing the fruit of that the why not the why not is because our bodies our minds our souls were not created to operate in that way we we are created to go at a much more intentional pace there are companies there are industries dedicated to our unconscious decisions for their benefit for example i was watching a youtube video or there was a poll on youtube and i think it was just asking like what is better like what's more important a good title a good thumbnail or something else and one of the comments under that was saying how youtube has because it started playing videos before you even click on them it has once again hijacked our ability to make a conscious decision and i was thinking about that like how much of our life is like that going about our life making unconscious decisions about what we consume what we're doing and i don't want to live like that because it's for nobody else's benefit except those that are profiting off of it oh yeah yeah you got a lot to say we are back at it again trying to go to the bank and see if we could get this money out good morning today we are gonna try to get some money out but overall it's our sabbath we have tried to commit as a family to keeping the sabbath so we're gonna have some family worship time some family prayer time and then yeah, and then do have some just good old family time today all right here we go day two round three round three round three day two we're heading to the bank to meet the owner of the vehicle uh, i'm going to try and get as much cash out as we can and then uh hopefully try and use western union see if we can do it that way um, and if it works that would make our lives much easier lord willing we can get that done today and it goes smooth and we should have a vehicle by Monday or Tuesday. So, it is hours later. We got home and literally went to sleep. It did work, kind of, eventually, with the, uh, the Western Union. So, hopefully we should have all of the money for the car tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, we got home, fell asleep. Bubby, <laughs> big boy is hungry or tired. We're making pancakes and brownies and watching football. And this is a normal, a fairly normal night, I would say, in the Collins household. <laughs> Thank you. 
Saturday tradition, something we used to do before we left, is Nutella pancakes. Yeah! And <laughs> fun fact, you cannot find like pre-made pancake mix here. Um, so we have to make it from scratch, but it's actually very easy. I you think it's better? It's better. Which I feel like people watching are like, duh. Like it's, but for me, I, I just never imagined I would never not be eight, like making pancakes without pancake mix. It's just, it's already made, why not? So the fact that I make my own now, I feel pretty proud of that. But honestly, it's really simple. It's just flour, eggs, butter, baking powder, or something. something light, but it's delicious. It's really good. Nothing added, which is the best part. Now, next next challenge is to learn how to make Nutella from scratch. If you can find hazelnuts, maybe? I don't know. Sounds ambitious. But there are some things I feel like you can trade off. If you're eating a majority of your meals like whole and healthy, I think having some Nutella every once in a while is not that bad. If it's every once in a while and not every night by the spoonful. There's Daddy. All right, guys, I think we're on our last and final attempt, Lord willing, and hopefully we will have the keys today. By the end of this video, I will be dangling the keys in our hands. It's our car, bud. Finally, in our new car. New to S, at least. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that the important thing was we got a car that's solid and durable. They can take us over the mountains to get to Go! where we're gonna live because the road is not the best. So, yeah, this, yeah. this should do it. We don't know if we overpaid, but Yay! listen, God provided. He provided. He always does. Yeah, look at that. And with that, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I think this is a solid, satisfying ending to this one. And we're going to see you in the next one where we are moving, hopefully. Lord willing. See you next time. Say bye. 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 Daddy, say bye. Bye.